Hey guys, Shock here from Shock eTicket. In today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your WhatsApp messages from an older Android smartphone to a newer Android smartphone. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now in this scenario, this phone here is my current smartphone and this is where my WhatsApp is active and this is the phone that has my SIM card in it. Now this is the new phone and I just installed WhatsApp from the Google Play Store and I launched the WhatsApp application by tapping this button and this is the screen that I'm gonna see. So what I wanna do is now I wanna transfer everything from this phone to this phone so I can get down to business. So the first step that you wanna take is you wanna go to your WhatsApp, okay, and here's all your chats and all that good stuff and then you wanna tap on the settings right over here and you wanna go into the actual settings right over here and then you wanna go into the menu known as chat. So I'm gonna tap on chats and then scroll all the way down and go to chat backup. So you wanna tap on this one. Now you can see I have this backup option and it is connected to my Google account. You simply need to understand that all the backup stuff goes into your Google account. So make sure you add a Google account and you back it to that account. When I tap this backup button, that is exactly what is going to happen. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on backup so I have the latest backup of all my recent conversations and all the videos and photos that have been shared with me. So you can actually tap on include videos right over here just to make sure that all the videos that were sent to you or photos via WhatsApp also get backed up. So I have done that, it says 1.1 gigabytes, okay? So I'm gonna tap on backup right now just to refresh it so everything is backed up to my WhatsApp account, which is connected to my Google account. And if you are not connected to a Google account, it is gonna give you an option here, and that's the best way to do it. And if you don't wanna use a particular account, you can tap on this, and you can choose add an account specifically for that WhatsApp account. Now in my case, I'm just using my regular account that I use all the time for all my WhatsApp accounts. Now when I go back out here, you can see the last backup was 9.12 p.m., which is right now, and the size is 1.4 gigabytes. So now I'm ready. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna lose any messages. Let's start the process. So now the next step is to take out my SIM card physically from this phone and insert it into this phone. Or maybe you have an eSIM, okay? If you have an eSIM, you can check that. Go to settings, go to connections, go to SIM manager, and if you have any eSIMs, they're gonna show up right here. So if you have an eSIM, you simply transfer the eSIM to the other phone using your particular phone's setup process. But most people have a physical SIM, so just grab the SIM from this guy and plug it right there. So I'm gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so my SIM card is now in my new phone right over here. So the first step is I'm simply gonna launch WhatsApp. I'm gonna tap on Agree and Continue, and look at what happens. So when I do that, it wants me to put in my phone number. The phone number I used to have here, I'm gonna add it right over here. So I am gonna say allow notifications right here, okay? And then I'm gonna plug in my phone number right there. I'm gonna blur it so you cannot see my number. So I have just entered my number. I'm gonna tap on next, and that's gonna connect to the servers, and it's gonna start the transfer process. Now when you are doing this, it is gonna ask you to maybe verify using your fingerprint your PIN number or your face ID. Okay, so do that, I'm gonna do it right here. And again, it's gonna verify my passkey. It says it is verified, and now my profile is ready to go. With the contacts, I'm gonna say continue. I'm gonna say allow, okay? And that's that should be it. But notice what's happening right here. Six minutes ago, we made a backup on this phone. That is now available right over here. So it says, do you want to restore from the backup? That's exactly what I wanna to do to transfer all my messages from this guy to this guy. So you can skip it too if you want, but I'm gonna tap on continue. But even if you skip this by mistake, you can do the same thing afterwards, no problem. But let's do it right now. I'm gonna tap on continue. And now you can see it is prepping backup. So it is taking around 1.3 gigabytes and it's gonna transfer over, not from this phone to this phone, but from my Google Cloud to this phone. So restoration of the messages is complete and the media is restoring in the background. I'm gonna tap on next. It's gonna ask me to put in my name for my profile, pick an avatar, tap on next, 
and it should be all good to go and that's it I'm all ready with my WhatsApp on my new phone right here now when you go to your old phone and try to log into WhatsApp look at what's gonna happen okay it says you have been logged out this phone number is no longer registered and it just knows that automatically because I'm right now with the same number I was using here I am now here so that's how easy it is by the way once everything is restored you are gonna see this message right over here and I will rem remind you if you didn't do this restoration process during the setup you can go here again to settings chats go to backup chat backup at the bottom and you can actually add the Google account and restore right from here so this is a very important menu all right guys so that's it transfer WhatsApp messages including images and videos to a new phone to a new Android phone any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now have a fantastic day